Welcome back, everybody. I've got a new series of uh, short videos for you to show you how to speed up your workflow inside ZBrush. And currently, we're using ZBrush 2022. And I want today, I want to talk to you about macros and how it's going to be able to speed up your workflow. You can use it to uh, do mundane tasks that you find that you're doing repetitively and it's just gonna make your life so much easier. So let's go up to the macro menu and I'll actually, let me close him up. Okay, so I got the macros over here. If you don't have them over here, you can just click, drag, drop. All right, so you can see the macros that are in here. Uh, yours are gonna look a little different than mine. Uh, I've already got a bunch of macros in there. Uh, pretty much what you're gonna have is miscellaneous which is supplied by Maxon, used to be Pixelogic. Um, they will have all these quick, easy macros for you to use. Um, but I'm going to show you today how to make your own. So I'm going to go to this GMP macros, just my initials. Um, and I'm going to show you how to make your own macro to do what you want. So like in here, I have got a macro to just insert a cylinder so click it boom there's a cylinder in there but there's a bunch of different little actions a uh, handful of actions that are in there so like I'll re remove all the extra uh, topology in here I'll delete the X the unneeded loops because I want a real simple cylinder to come in here and then it'll also polygroup so if we take a look we can open up if you go to your ZBrush 2022 folder or 2021, whatever, um, you open that up and you go to startup and you go under macros. Okay, so let's go to GMP macros. Let's look at that insert cylinder. Uh, disregard some of these uh, Z script files and PSD. We'll go to the source, which is just a little text file, and open it up. And you can see I recorded this in 2022 version and it'll uh, create all these configuration file saying that, well, it needs to be in 2022, though you can have it in 2021 and you can even change that if you like to 2021. It's fine. Um, but you can see it'll what it did is it I pressed uh, the tool, the sub tool and insert and then the pop up cylinder 3D and then went in and deleted the loops and then unified it and then grouped by normals. And that's what it did. It did like one, two, three, four, five different actions for you in one little macro. And then I, and then it'll create a little button for you and you're good to go. So let's take a look here and see if we can create our own macro. Let me go to a pre-made file here for you. Okay, let me sh turn that off. All right, so we got this guy here. Say like you've got a bunch of uh, files or models that you want to create a create a just a character sheet, a quick character sheet for it. Okay, so what I did is basically make a 45 degree turn this way and a 45 degree turn this way and then a center one. So that's a quick, easy macro to, to build. So if it's just a single model on its own specific subtool, go under macro, we'll do new macro, uh, click no on this, It'll what it'll wanna do is basically restart ZBrush for you. And we don't wanna do that. So, because if not, it'll clear everything out, and we don't want it to do that. So, we want to do very simple task. So, I want to do duplicate, duplicate. I want to go to deformation, and I want to do a rotate action on the Y. So, we turn these to the Y. So, if you put just a rotation in there without designating these, it's gonna take whatever's already there. So make sure you uh, assign, you make sure you uh, actually do that little bit of action there. And I'll show you in the text when we're done. 
So we want to rotate him on the Y, which is up and down. Rot him, rotate him on the Y action there. So you may want to make sure it's centered where you want him to be centered. So just make sure your center of rotation is set up correctly. And we want to rotate him, we'll just do negative 45. Okay. I'm going to solo that out so we can see it better. And then come to Subtool and push up on your keyboard. Up, up. We'll keep that center one there, the middle of this. And go to Deformation. And see, now we'll want to make sure we want to change that. And we did a negative before, so let's just do a 45. Boom. All right. And then we'll unsolo that. Now we've done all our rotations there. So we basically finished off the macro. So macro in macro. I'm just going to go under my GMP macros here. And we'll just call this character sheet. and just say yes or no, it doesn't really matter. All right, so now it's generated that macro for us. So if we go back into macros, let me close all these guys. There it is, GMP character sheet, or character sheet. So let's uh, go ahead, and basically if we wanted, we could just expose this on the X, There we go. We got our little character sheet. We may only expose to 50 instead. Eh, do 75. That's not really part of the macro. You can build that into the macro if you wanted, but I, I think I did it one time and it just did not work out why, right. So basically, we just render this guy out and rinse and repeat. So let's go to subtool here. Let's find the one that's dead center here. Okay, we're going to delete the others. Go back to our macros here let me find him okay character sheet see how it turned out boom all right so let me expose 75 boom look at that we created our macro quick and easy so we can you can take a look at some of these other ones that i have i'll have these up on gumroad so i've got insert q cube boom puts a nice little Q cube in there for us you know just quick easy things I also use this for say like a recent project that I did these um, let me turn that off I had I was building this puzzle cutter and I was running into problems well it wasn't really problems it was just a bunch of repetitive tasks and it was driving me nuts so I needed to find a way to mass things. Let me go to, oops, mass lasso. I needed to find a way to move things around. So I created a little macro here to, let me bring it back up. And doop, 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 transpose mast. So created a little macro for that. So anything that was masked, would it would snap it would activate the move tool and move it to the center and then i could just move that little particular mass section around i found it quite handy and then i can also create another macro here mask say like i didn't want those little tabs in there mask and then i did hide mass delete boom gone and then I can go in there and just do a simple uh, extrude or actually bridge the two sections together so it's quite handy there so let's go back to our character sheet we can take a look at what we did and so in here you can see that really it did everything for us so actually we can actually modify this we don't need this one. Delete. You'll start understanding 
it, it's a good way this is how I build my uh, plugins my agreeable plugin this is a lot of what I did here so I don't we don't need solo in there delete delete it's a good way to learn Z scripting it's just uh, build macros that one I'll save and I go back in there let's go back to our little character real quick where did I put them nope where did he go I lost them Oh, there he is. All right, so we'll just delete him. And delete other. Okay. Go back to your macros. Reload all macros. Go to character sheet. Solo. There he is. So quick and easy things that you can do. And this macro is very powerful. And I encourage everybody to start using them and make your own and you can go download the ones that I showed you there I'll have some more down the road here of things that I think are kinda cool uh, little macros that I put together and I'll just keep on updating it so but that's it for today guys um, like I said quick and easy uh, very powerful um, so definitely explore doing macros and we'll see you in the next video you guys have a great day